eight and one in the last nine. Can we stay hot? Let's find out. What's going on, everyone, and welcome back into another episode for Just a Bet Outside. We are back with Major League Baseball bets for Friday, April 7th. Holy crap, are we on a roll. Eight and one in the last nine. We just went four and one yesterday. I don't know how long I can keep this up, I'm going to be honest, so tread carefully. Uh, you, usually there's some sort of crash after you go hot, but let's try to keep this going as long as possible. It has been so much freaking fun. The Discord which had a bunch of people that were not really baseball fans, are coming around. When the White Sox hit over that team total in the ninth inning, they went bonkers, and that was a ton of fun. So you got to join that Discord. It is awesome. Uh, real quick, NBA video. Guys, the NBA is a shit show. I'm not even going to lie to you. I picked the Magic and a Moneyline parlay, and then right before the game they say, oh, not one starter is going to play. That's why the NBA is a freaking joke, by the way, because there's fans at the game ready to watch that. Magic have no reason to sit all those young guys. But anyways, I don't need to talk NBA. We will try to do a short if I see some leans I like tomorrow, but it's going to be kind of hunkering down until the playoffs start in a few days. So that's where we're at. Please hit like and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, you're going to love it, I promise. Just hit that subscribe. Just trust me. Uh, comments. You guys are crushing it. I, I'm going to be missing some people, but... Ethan, uh, Sean, Jared, Zono, you guys are constantly commenting. I appreciate it. Uh, Jared had a good one, too. He just had a comment that said, I like turtles. And I think that's a very underrated reptile. So I agreed with him. So thank you guys for the comments. Keep commenting. Some people are just saying hi, whatever it is. I appreciate it. Helps us grow the channel. All right. You guys just want the bets. You're just probably looking at me saying, can you stop talking? Let's just go to the bets. Here we go. Let's go to the bets recap page. All right, there it is. The special four in one day. White Sox team total over four. That was not easy at all. Um, they had three going to the ninth, I believe it was, and then they got three runs. So I think it was with two out in the ninth. So big one unit hit there. Matt Chapman over one and a half bases. How about hitting that in the first inning with his first at bat? That was pretty easy. I like that. Uh, Blue Jays minus one and a half for one unit. Another easy, uh, kind of easy win. The bullpen almost blew it, but I think they won by three. Braves minus half in the first five. That was not easy. The baseball gods were on our side. Uh, they gave up a three-run homer to go down one, and then they scored two runs of their own. I think it's the bottom of the fourth, and they were up one after five. Thank goodness. And then Josiah Gray, that one just sucked from the beginning. I think in the Discord we were hoping that he had migraines or some sort of issue, so he had to be pulled out because he had that pretty easy, pretty quick. I don't know what happened, but hey, 4-1. and one. We'll take it. 24-13 and 13 on the year plus 7.01 units already, and that's with a lot of half-unit bets. Um, I'm going to have five bets for you, and that starts right now. All right, here we go. Game number one, Cardinals at Brewers. Brewers money line minus 162. Cardinals money line at plus 136, over under of eight runs. Uh, we got a good matchup in this game. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals versus Brandon Woodruff of the Brewers. Uh, Flaherty is a guy that's been injured a lot. He's only thrown 119.1 innings the last three seasons total. Um, he was pretty good before that, but he hasn't got it back since. His velocity has dipped according to some advanced metrics, throwing over only about 91 mile an hour fastballs right now. He was around 93 last year. So, um, you know, it's going to take a while for him to build that back up. In his first start, it was bizarre, guys. He had seven walks, but he still gave up zero hits and zero runs. That's just a lucky outing is what it is. Um, so I don't see that happening again this time. Also, on the other side, Brandon Woodruff, he is a stud. Cy Young candidate, he's as good as it gets. 30% K rate last year, 3.05 ERA. Um, he faced the Cardinals three times last year. He gave up only two runs in 15 innings, a so 1.3 ERA. Um, he's 22-8 and eight with a 2.95 ERA at home in his career. He loves pitching in Milwaukee. That's where he's been his whole career. Um, this is just a pitching advantage for the Brewers. My best bet in this game, Brewers minus a half a run in the first five innings at minus 102. Uh, like I said, it's a better starting pitcher. And also, the Brewers' bats are sizzling hot right now. They are second in the major in the majors right now at 6.3 runs per game. I don't, I didn't expect that at all, really, this year from them. But uh, I'm going to ride the hot hand and the better pitcher and at home. I mean, you got to love all of it. All they have to do is be ahead after five innings to win this bet. We'll eliminate the bullpens. I think Flaherty gets roughed up. Also, the Brewers drew the fifth most walks to righties last year. And so far this year, the righties, they've drawn the third most walks. So they're a very patient team. And a guy like Jack Flaherty, who just walks seven guys, I think he's going to get some walks. 
they're going to get on the bases and they're going to cause some damage. So I love the Brewers minus a half a run in the first five at minus 102 for the first bet. Now let's go to game number two. All right, here we go. Game number two, the Seattle Mariners, my Mariners, at the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland money line minus 116. Seattle money line plus 100. Over under of seven runs. Uh, this is a rematch of the same two pitchers against each other, guys. Logan Gilbert versus Aaron Savali. Logan Gilbert had six innings pitched that game, gave up one run, struck out seven. Uh, Aaron Savali, seven innings pitched, gave up no runs, struck out three in that game. He gave up about a 22% hard contact rate compared to Gilbert's 17%. Uh, but the big difference was Logan Gilbert had a 17% swinging strike rate, and Savali only had 6%. I mean, he didn't fool a lot of Mariners hitters, but we did not score, unfortunately. I say we because that's my team. Um, you already know where I'm headed probably because I didn't take the Mariners hat off. I kept it in this time. Best bet, Mariners money line at plus 100. I love this one. Guys, the Mariners are 2-5. and five. They are way too good to be 2-5. and five. In baseball, it doesn't happen where they lose all the time. There's teams like the Phillies when we bet them a few days ago when they hadn't won one game all year, but we knew they had to. It was a good spot. I think this is a good spot for the Mariners to win. Um, they've been unlucky on balls hit and play. I think they're going to make adjustments to Savali and hit him. Logan Gilbert is the better pitcher. Savali's like a career four ERA kind of guy. Uh, better starting pitcher. Better lineup. They're going to make adjustments. They want revenge from the Guardians winning the series to start the year. I love the Mariners' money line at this value of plus 100. You got you to take it. So, Mariners, don't let me down. Plus 100, best bet. Let's move on to our bet of the day for one unit. All right, here we go. The one unit bet of the day. The Kansas City Royals at the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco money line minus 180. Royals money line plus 155. Over under of 8. Uh, this is the Giants' home opener. They finally get a play at home. We have a matchup of Brad Keller versus Alex Cobb. How thrilling is that? Um, Brad Keller, guys, he is terrible on the road. He has been his whole career. He has a 5.69 ERA on the road last season, and he has a career ERA on the road of 4.57 compared to 3.89 at home. So this guy struggles on the road. He has his whole career. Um, last year, overall, he had a 5.09 ERA, and he had give up 30 percent hard contact this is not a good pitcher brad keller he's also prone to giving up a lot of home runs and last i checked i think the wind's blown out a little bit in san fran so um alex cobb on the mound it's the opposite in a good way alex cobb is great at home uh he threw 87 innings at home last year and he had a 2.81 era and in those 87 innings he only gave up four home runs pretty pretty crazy if you ask me so the better pitching matchup, the Royals are the worst team in baseball right now, and I mean they are bad. They look awful on offense. So my best bet, one unit, play of the day, the Giants, minus one and a half on the run line at plus 115. All they got to do is win by two or more runs, and I'm getting plus money to beat a Royals team that is just terrible. Um, Royals have been the off worst offense in, the base in baseball by far. I already mentioned that. Um, and this is their first road game. The Royals are averaging 2.3 runs per game. That is just ugly. I expect the Giants to put up four, five, six runs. They've been pretty hot on offense. They just put up a crap load of uh, runs in Chicago. And uh, so I just like Alex Cobb at home, Brad Keller on the road. Just a great matchup. Better starting pitcher, better lineup, uh, better rotation. Uh, I know Doval and Rogers, the two studs in the Giants bullpen, they're rested. They didn't pitch yesterday. So I love the Giants minus one and a half to put a beat down on the Royals in their home opener for one unit play of the day. Let's move on to bet number four. All right, here we go. Game number four, Blue Jays at the Angels. Angels money line minus 130. Blue Jays money line plus 110 with an over-under of nine runs. Uh, Angels are 4-2 and two to start the season, averaging five and a half runs per game. Blue Jays are 4-3, and three, averaging four and a half runs per game. Uh, this is a matchup of starting pitchers heading in opposite directions. Chris Bassett, 34-year-old pitcher. He struggled in the second half of last year. He struggled in the spring of this year. And he was absolutely freaking terrible in his first outing this year. He gave up 10 hits and 9 runs, including 4 home runs. And oh, by the way, struck out 0. I mean, this guy was so bad. Um, his velocity has dipped too. I mentioned about another pitcher earlier. Um, he had a 91 mile an hour fastball average speed compared to 93 last year. That makes a big difference in baseball. Um, his breaking pitches aren't breaking as much. He's easy to hit right now. As my dad likes to say, he's a Christmas tree because hitters light him up. Um, this is time to fade. you got to fade Chris Bassett right now. Patrick Sandoval on the other side. He looked great in the World Baseball Classic. 
26-year-old pitcher, lefty, 2.91 ERA last year, 3.69 expected, um, only 22% hard contact rate last year. So he's a much better pitcher, heading in the right direction, entering his prime. Chris Bassett is past his prime, definitely. So my best bet in this game, Angels first five money line. So I'm playing a little safe. It's not minus a half a run in the first five. It is the Angels first five money line at minus 110, which means if they are tied after five innings, it is a push and you get your money back. Um, better starting pitcher, like I mentioned, better lineup as of right now. I know the Blue Jays are awesome hitting, but uh, the Angels are averaging one more run a game right now. They still got Shohei, Mike Trout, Taylor Ward's hitting the ball well. So um, I like the Angels in the first five money line. I don't trust the Angels bullpen because they suck. And so I'm just going to take the first five money line. Sandoval to beat Chris Bassett as my best bet, bet number four. Let's move on to the final bet of the day. All right, here we go. Final bet of the day. Dodgers at the Arizona Diamondbacks. Dodgers money line minus 215. Diamondbacks plus 185 over under of nine runs. Um, I'm not picking a side or a total, so I'm not going to analyze the crap out of these pitchers. Um, but uh, it's going to be a hits parlay. If I had to lean one way, though, I'd probably go Dodgers minus that one and a half on the run line or maybe a team total over because Madison Bumgarner's on the mound and he is not good. Dodgers hit him well. But my best bet is a player prop parlay. It's a hit parlay. First part of it, Mookie bets one plus hit and Christian Walker one plus hit. You put those two together, you get minus 120. Let's start out with Mookie bets against Madison Bumgarner. He is six for 18 at hitting 333 with two home runs off of him. He sees the ball well. He's faced him quite a bit of, quite a bit in his career. And uh, Mookie's a stud. M -m 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 Mookie. We all love Mookie. Uh, second one, Christian Walker one plus hit. Do we even, you baseball fans barely even know who this guy is. He's a stud. He has faced Kershaw 30 times, and he's 10 for 30 with five dingers. That's right. He's hit five bombs off him. If you want to take a total bases prop of over one and a half or maybe a little on the home run prop, I don't mind it for Christian Walker. He's hitting 286 so far this season, too. So he's in good form. He's facing a pitcher he loves to see. Um, he hit 261 versus lefties last year compared to 236 righties. So he does hit lefties better in general. Um, I just love Christian Walker and Mookie Betts. All they need is one hit each for minus 120, and we can cash that. Let's hope to cash that in the first or second inning. That would be nice. So that's my final bet of the day. If I have any more added bets, it'll be in the pinned comments. But let's go to the bets recap page. All right, there it is. Brewers minus a half a run in the first five, minus 102. Giants minus one and a half at plus 115 for our one unit bet of the day. Uh, Mookie bets Christian Walker one plus hit each at minus 120. My Seattle Mariners money line at plus 100. Get the job done, M's. And then the Angels first five money line at minus 110. Uh, those are our five bets, guys. I uh, I am known to have a lot of baseball bets. It's worked out for us. I found five good spots that I like. But if I do have a sixth one, it'll be in the pit comments. Thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. Just a reminder. No NBA video. I'll try to do a short tomorrow with some leans or some things I like if I have time. I'm going to be with the family a little bit. So um, basketball is weird right now anyways for the last few days. So thanks again for all the support. Like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.